Hi friends, this is Ashraf. Welcome back to another exciting video. So in this video, we are going to creating something. Not we are going to learning, not we are going to doing anything. In, we, in this video, we are going to creating something. What it means, in this video, we are going to create a overhead DIY tripod. Basically, it cost about 900 to 1000 rupees outside. But if you made it by using a PVC pipes, PVC pipes are nothing but these pipes. PVC pipes, water pipes, yeah. If you made it by using PVC pipe, it's cost only about 200. Basically, these tripods are used for doing the unboxing of anything or showing something. So, without wasting time, let's get started. The main, the main tools of this creating this tripod are first of all, you need a cutting plate. And pana of size 12 10. Yeah. Pana of size 12 10. And half sa blade. I will also tell the cost how much it will be. First of all, we will see the ingredients of what the tools requirement. So I will show the price. I will tell the person. It will cost about 10 rupees in the private store. You can see that. Cost about 10 rupees. And the pana will be of this but usually it will have your own silver you can buy cycles or motorcycle and usually this one it will 100 percent show it will be how if not it will be in 80 to 90 rupees that's all so that's and the main in what do you say the main of this experiment or not experiment we are going to create yeah, are these pipes so you need this type of tools of same size a pair of same size pvc pipes you can see these are same i have already cut it so it was too much hard to cut with the six up so i can't show you but i am seeing this you need this two similar means you have to be same size of these pipes it will be of you can see that size approximate 10 centimeters i think so not in inches in centimeters it will be 10 or 15 to 30 yeah 15 to 30 centimeters consider of 2 and then it will cost about I think so 80 80 rupees if you buy PVC it's not a PVC pipe it's ordinary pipes it will cost about 50 rupees of 2 days okay the next one is another same same but these are size are big you can see that this size are big then that so basically that are for the base so sorry these are for the base and that are for the Connecting the vertical along the base, so you need again similar size with about I think 50 centimeters. Can see that so about 50 centimeters of same similar which will cost about 100. Okay. okay. Next, you will need and this much big another pipe. You can see that this much big pipe. Only one. This time one no pair. This is about I think so 50 centimeters. 50 centimeters, 50 to 60 centimeters. This one it will cost about only 80. Okay. See that good quality. So you can see that it's not bending. I'm trying to bend it, but it's not. You can see that. So that's the five. And you need three elbow joints. Okay, three elbow joints. Each one will be of four rupees. Four three jack to buy. Four rupees only. Not that much. You can also buy PVC elbows which are of short, but if you buy these, it will have a good capability. You can see the side edges, it doesn't break or turns. So you need three. And uh, you need this T2. You need this T's of two. You need this one of two of same. You have to first, when you are going to buy, you have to say that that this pipe should be get inserted into that. If you buy this bigger, this smaller, it all works. So you have to take that. The pipe which you are taking the size, you should be connected to this T. Have you got to my point? I think so. This T should be connected. Save the method while you are taking this elbows. You have to show that that this should be inserted in that like this. You can see that? Yeah. Like this. The size size should be same. This T is two and one. 15 centimeter pipe for support at the top for hanging the camera this this should be of some better quality rather than that it cost about 20 to 30 because of low size you can see that it's of low size 
Okay. You can see that this is not flow sorry. Okay, these were the materials which are required. Have you seen that? So without wasting time, let's create this. Size of your DSLR uh, mount. So let me show you one, two, three ones. As you can see, this my camera is of this screw mount. A size of I think thirty to something. So if you have various size, you have to first take this screw of this size only. Then you should insert this. If your size size differs, here also hole also differs. So that you have to take this screw of same size to the your the camera mount for the tripod so i think you got the point let's keep it aside and just what you are doing is you have using a drill or heating up a screw just make an hole at the center after centering insert the screw which you have 
same, which is the same size of that camera. Inside the off, inside the red, uh, you will get this type of screw. I think so. You are getting, yeah. Don't fasten all the screw, mm. all the screw to the outside because the screw will be red. So mm. like this, it will be not on the light one. So let it off of the part inside and off little bit outside. Mm. So after this, what you have to do is connect it to the the small 15 to 20 centimeter pipe. So this is the thing you are getting. So this will be the option. Let me fix it once. Yeah. This will be the you are standing ones. I think so you are getting. So now just what you have to do means just take your camera. Just take your camera and just with the screw is there and your hole just fix it. I will show you once. You can fix it by rotating this. Let me first take off these. Yeah, I have taken off this. Yes, like it by rotating this. So not much that tight, just tighten it otherwise this pipe will be broken. You can see this. Now this type it will not fall. The tripod like mount things you are getting yeah so like this now what you have to do is just join this to this one as you join it now what you have to do is just rotate second and fix it with that after that you will get this type of picture see this this type it will be on like this now what you have to do is insert this edge to here. So let me show you how it looks. If you want to do this type, you can see that by placing the things on the down, you can place it. Finally, it looks like this from the side like this you can see that I think This is the base this base should be tightened you have to tighten the all these parts You can see that this elbow should be tight then only this T will be This T will be very tightened You can see that in this way you can make an overhead DIY tripod if you are doing any unbox just place it here let me put if you are doing unboxing of this friends if you are doing unboxing of this just you need to turn on the camera and you can see that it works on you can see that now by this you can also zoom to that by this you can easily make the videos also so this is the how the camera works and here it should you can see that not inside this I think so you are seeing So this is the how it works. So this is the total how it looks. If you want to make it small size, just make all the parts same size, then it will be of good. I if you want to use it as a gorilla pod for vlogging, just a simple trick. Just you have to remove this part. You can see that I have removed this. So just you will get this. You can see that. You can get like this, you can just vlog just putting like this again. So it has a feature of Gorilla Pod also. You can use for this vlogging, it's very handy. If you want to decrease the size, you can decrease this size. I think you love this video. Please put a like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We put this type of videos once or twice a week. So let's meet in another video. Until then, take care and bye bye.